Okay, so we have some questions here dealing with common stock issuance. Let's take a look. Knighthood Inc. issued 10,000 shares of common stock. Prepare entries to record each of the following independent situations related to the stock issue of the stock. So stock issued for $25 cash when par value was 10. So what's important to know is we always report our um, common stock and our journal entries at par value. So they issued 10,000 shares for $25. So we're going to debit cash because when we issue that stock, we're going to get cash in exchange for issuing the stock. It's the number of shares then, 10,000 times the issue price, 25. So that's $250,000. Also, we will credit common stock always at par value. So common stock will be 10,000 times our $10 par value, which is $100,000. Now you all know debits have to equal credits. So the only way to make that equation balance is a $150,000 credit. Now that is gonna go to what we call paid PAID in capital in excess of par value. So it's pretty descriptive. It's the monies that were paid in in excess of par value. Which happens to be $25 per share, the difference between those two. So we also could do the 10,000 times 15 if you want to double check your number there. So that's the first one. Here this time we're issuing stock but we're going to get equipment. You don't always have to issue stock for cash and there's no par or stated value. In the case of no par and no stated value the entire proceeds get credited to our common stock. So this is a pretty easy one for us. We're just going to debit the equipment because we're going to bring in equipment and then we're going to issue stock for that equipment, so we'll credit common stock. And again, since it's no par or stated value, the entire $9,000 gets credited to common stock and we will debit equipment. Oops, not 90,000, 9,000. Okay, so we can do the last one. Issued Stock issued for 12,000 cash when the stock had a stated value of $1 per share. So I'll just tell you the stated value works just like par value. So you could almost replace that with the word par value. So we're going to go ahead and debit our cash for the amount received, which says $12,000. We're going to credit common stock this time at stated value which would be 10,000 shares times $1 per share. And the difference will be $2,000. And I bet you can guess what that account is gonna look like. Paid in capital in excess of stated value this time. Again, pretty descriptive. The monies we received in excess of stated value.